Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Welcome to our uh, monthly tech meet for Rolls-Royce Owners Club of Southern California. And today we will be disassembling and resealing a Silver Cloud 3 steering pump. We have this other plate that goes inside. This has a let me see, this little sleeve here goes over here to keep that lined up and keep it from turning. And then this goes on there. center to allow fluid to go through. So there. Okay, now this Deflector. This is like a deflector that holds, that it forces, as you can see, this is the return hose coming in from the steering box. Um, it forces the filter, the, the fluid through the filter. Once you get this hole lined up, there we go. You have to line that hole up with that. And then this piece, this thing goes, tightens down to hold it. It's like a coffee percolator. <laughs> Something like that. That doesn't have to be super tight, just snug. Um, then this filter goes on there. And that's a new filter? Oh, uh, no, that's the old filter. They rarely need replacement unless they're falling apart. This centering washer, this is not exactly the right filter that uh, is on here, but it fits. Uh, let's see here. And how can you tell that's not exactly the right filter? Uh, by experience. It doesn't need this uh, cork. Let's see, I think I have one over here. Let me go look. Okay, this, this is not the, f the true factory filter. The reason I say that is because it's got this cork here and it doesn't seal against anything. But this size fits in here. And it's an old Napa 1653. So if you want to source it other than Rolls Royce, that will work that and there is supposed to be a spring here. Oh, there it is. That's a spring. There's a spring goes up there. So that, uh... now when this is on the car, this is the top and this, this is the outside. A lot of times the steering pump will be at an angle. So I always like to have the filler cap, this part, at the top end. Because? So that when it's down this way and if this is in an angle it doesn't run out. It's easier to fill on the inside too. Because I say so. Anybody with kids knows that's a common term you need to use all the time. Why? 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 Because I say so, kid. Okay. Now, when this goes back on the car, the high pressure hose goes here. There's a banjo fitting that goes on here. There are two O-rings. Make sure you replace those. Um, 
we found a leak on this car at the steering box just recently to where one of the banjo fittings was missing an O-ring and had been for years. So that's, that's why it leaked. So anyways, you want to put new O-rings. And then it's ready to rock. Install it, tighten up your belt. My suggestion on the Silver Cloud steering boxes and steering systems is to, if you drain all the fluid, is to use one bottle of STP and then fill up the rest of the system with the regular ATF type steering fluid. This is a real heavy, almost a honey base or thickness um, lubricant. It's really, it's like honey. Um, and what this does is it adds uh, an extra lubricating factor plus it raises the viscosity a little better and on old tired old systems it makes them work better. I had one car, one Silver Cloud 3 that when it got warm it had no power assist. The pump was old and tired obviously and there were some problems but I drained the fluid, put one of those in there and the rest with the ATF and it works fine now. So thank you for joining us.